Peace, no doubt, is a panacea for societal well-being. However, with the lesser strain in the world and Nigeria inclusive where criminality, kidnapping and war as the case between Russia and Ukraine, the need for all mankind to re-examine themselves to return peacefulness becomes imperative. This is the main message of the Visiting Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, while in NTA Calabar to inform the public of the ongoing yearly anniversary of the Brotherhood, which is a week-long spiritual event. Lots and lots of things are happening around the globe. You see violence, kidnapping, killing, ritual killing, war here and there, spreading all over. And we thought it wise, by the special grace of the Father, that it's good for us to take the message of peace around the world and to tell people the, in fact, the essence of it and how important it is even for humanity to embrace peace. A civilized man is somebody who lives in peace right from the house. A good mother teaches the children how to live in peace. Like mothers that have four or five children, they stay in peace, they grow up with that peace, they will be able to have love. And when they go out there, they will live in peace. Talking on different topics, on peace and how the fellowship can move and do better. The grand finale is on Saturday being tomorrow, where there will be different activities, outdoor games, a talk of war, there will be a parade competition among states, and the fellowship and other events. And of course on Sunday will be the Thanksgiving service. Responding, the general manager of NTA Calabar reaffirmed the broadcast outfit to continually inform, educate, enlighten the public on the positive ideals for unity, peace and development of the country. We all know what is happening even within Nigeria and uh, in the world at large that everybody must really embrace peace and be able to forgive each other. Because if we cannot forgive each other, we cannot ensure peace and uh, peace living environment. We want to welcome you for this team, which is quite germane for the world order too. Everybody is praying for what is happening in the world between Russia and Ukraine, that there should be ceasefire. And uh, we just pray that uh, the good Lord will envelop the world. The Christ Universal Spirited Children Fellowship of the Brotherhood of the Cross and Star weekly program is on the theme, Peace is the True Symbol of Civilization. In Calabar, Arut Ndem, NTA News. The government and people of Cross River State have been charged to absolutely surrender to the authority of Jesus Christ for the fulfillment of God's will in the state. Senior Pastor Dunamis International Gospel Center, Pastor Paul Eneche, 
gave the church during the church healing and deliverance crusade in Calabar. Maureen Liwajo has details. This special worship session set the atmosphere in a miraculous mood where the power of God moved mightily, releasing healing and deliverance upon the people. Turn back to hell in the name of Jesus. Thank you for being the Lord of my life. There were also moments of high praise and ministration in songs. For the government and people of Kroshiva State, the presence of Pastor Enenche and the program brought in light and healing upon the land. Great uh, upliftment, great um, blessings. Uh, I think I was moved by the Holy Spirit myself, and I think that uh, Cross River is blessed indeed. It's uh, the rejuvenation. I mean, surrendering to Jesus, to the power of God. It's something that every man who wants to, every government, will always embrace. We see that the opinion they have about Cross River State is not what we are seeing. We saw how the power of God travel everywhere. Even the power of God, we did not even use transportation to go to Port Harcourt. He was somebody in Port Harcourt. It's a heavy, mighty visitation. A deluge into Cross River State. Something dramatic, drastic has just happened. Just watch out, you'll see that there's going to be a shift in the progress and developmental stages of Cross River State. In Calabar. Maureen Liu Ajom, and in news. The strength of Nigeria lies in its cultural and religious diversity. Hence, the need for citizens to show sentiments in order for the country to thrive economically and otherwise. This message dominated teachings at the Jumat prayer held at the Navy Mosque at Kamu Calabar. Justina Ethan reports. <laughs> The Jumat prayers provides an opportunity for Muslim faithful to offer supplications to Allah as well as listen to teachings that will uplift their faith. Speaking on the topic predestination, the Imam Eastern Naval Command, Lieutenant Commander Adegoke Abdul Hamid, urged Muslims to accept whatever situation they find themselves, be it good or bad as only Allah has the power to turn things in favor of man. We were talking about the difference or differences between predestinations and destiny. For people to understand that they, there are some things they don't have control over. And uh, when it comes to naturality, there are some things they have control over. And uh, as Muslims, we must be prepared for both. For Nigerians to coexist peacefully, the Imam gave this advice. We must first and foremost see ourselves on the basis, on the perspective of humanity before we consider religion. Religion is secondary. I mean, man, you are a man. So I understand love, I understand hatred. I know what can pain you. Because if it happens to me, I will be pained. I know what something that when I do, you will be very happy. So it means that since we share those common uh, phenomena, we have to ensure that we, we fight for peace, for, for harmony. <laughs> One of the faithful described the Jumat prayers, including the topic of the day, as rewarding. Uh, he has awakened us that uh, there is nothing that is insurmountable with God. Jumat prayers is an obligation in the Islamic religion. In Calabar, Justina Itam, NTA News. Education is said to impart knowledge and schools have made educational tour part of their curriculum, thereby ensuring studying is fascinating. In view of this, the pupils of Tiny Tot Model School 
also known as Antistella Memorial Model School, Ikaransa Calabar, have visited the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA Calabar, to get first hand knowledge of the broadcast industry. Very Archibald reports. Peoples of Tiny Tots were taken round various departments of the establishment by administrative staff, Kingsley Tuku. Their children, were, their children were introduced to the technicalities and rudiments of operating a television outfit, which includes the newsroom, editing suits, control room, and the studio. The master control room ensures that all our transmission is good enough for our viewership. The news you see, the news that I read and you watch and you admire is being produced here. A decent means the removal of unwanted material from the wanted material. So that one is easy. As part of imparting knowledge through visual learning to grasp concepts, the pupils speak. Editing is when you remove the unwanted parts from the wanted parts. About the editing suits, there are items there like the keyboard, the mouse, the things we they use to send information. NTA is good. If you watch it, you know what is happening in the whole world. One of the importance of educational excursion is to boost is the boost it gives to concepts learned in the classroom. The of this excursion is just to let them have the field trip experience because they had a fear in the school. The topic was mass communication. So having learned that it was pertinent to have them come to NTA Calabar and have uh, the best experience. We feel we should bring our people to NTA Channel 9 Calabar where we will be shown how information is being gathered and being transmitted. Visiting a site often results in the visiting a site often results in the transfer of new information and data not included in textbooks, such omitted data can be gained from a field trip or excursion. In Calabar, Benny Achibom, NCA News. Women in Aquaibom State say for gender equality to be upheld for a sustainable future, the 35% affirmative action is key for enhanced national growth in Nigeria. Emedi on this advocacy. Nigeria is among African countries that belong to the United Nations and is signatory to relevant international treaties and conventions. These treaties signed by the Nigerian government have placed emphasis that member nations put in place necessary mechanisms needed to eliminate gender discriminations, ensure equality and human dignity to all irrespective of gender. However, available statistics shows that out of 109 senators in the National Assembly, only nine are women, while 27 out of 360 members of the House of Representatives are women. The picture above depicts women are obviously marginalized, regardless of the national gender policy formulated in 2006 to promote a 35% affirmative action for women. With the recent action by the National Assembly, Women in Aquaibom State engaged in a walk around Uyo Metropolis and terminated at the Aquaibom State House of Assembly with placards bearing inscriptions such as Break the Bias, advocate for inclusion in policy formation to enhance national development. A wake up call from the United Nations for all those concerned to review their prevalent philosophies and attitudes towards women. When a woman marries a man into this country, Section 26 of the Constitution does not uh, give that equal opportunity for her spouse to become a citizen. We need the social, the economical bias to be broken. It is the hope of the women that the submissions given to the State House of Assembly will yield positive results. In Uyo, Emedi Omo, NTA News. You are still watching NTA Calabar News at 7. You can equally watch this newscast on our YouTube channel at YouTube slash NTA Calabar. A break now. The news continues shortly. Stay with us.
The transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, wishes to notify consumers of electricity that the current load shedding being experienced nationwide is as a result of very low power generation by the generation companies and for TCN to wheel through the transmission grid to distribution companies nationwide. A statement by the general manager of public affairs, Ndidi Mba, reveals that the media has been awash with reports that TCN has reduced the load allocation to distribution companies and that information is incorrect. The correct position is that TCN can only transmit the quantum of power generated by generation companies through the national grid to distribution load centers nationwide. The distribution companies are responsible for end consumer consumption. TCN can only allocate power to distribution companies based on approved percentage formula by National Electricity Regulatory Commission and of the total generation available per hour. Ndidi maintains that presently, the cumulative generation nationwide is low and generation companies have attributed this to several factors, including poor gas supply, fault in generating units and unscheduled maintenance, all of these which have caused most power generating companies to limit their generation. He therefore pledged that the company will, however, continue to work hard to ensure the efficient allocation of the total load generated by power generating stations into the grid bearing in mind the need to ensure that the national grid is stable in spite of the challenges posed by insufficient load on the transmission grid. Non-governmental organizations have been called upon to partner relevant agencies for an effective policies and programs that will fast track the conservation and protection of wildlife. This is the view of wildlife conservation stakeholders who are bothered about the endangered species and the ecosystem for future generations. Wildlife conservation is the practice of protecting animal species and their habitats to enhance natural ecosystem. This can be achieved through legislation, thereby protecting the animals from extinction. The practice among their benefits allows for pollination and continuity of native animals. Since Nigeria is a biodiversity hotspot with level of endemism, Experts insist that there must be collaboration and synergy of policies and programs for the conservation of wildlife. It's a time now that all the stakeholders will come together to ensure that they bring up policies, regulations to see how this wildlife can be conserved. But today, government has spent so much money to ensure that the fauna and species within the ecosystem are not in danger. But there is no checks and balances. If government put policies and regulations incentives that will ensure that most of these endangered wildlife eh, are protected and sustained. There are a number of species on the danger list. They are threatened with extinction. A lot needs to be done to conserve these animals. One is the environment where the animals live. The forest should be left intact. Don't cut down the trees. If you must cut a mature tree replaced with two other trees. The oxygen we breathe as we are here, it is the trees that give us that oxygen. Protect the trees, protect the animals. Experts who call for strengthening of the protection policies are encouraging wildlife friendly land management practices that will connect the habitats on which endangered species depend for their survival as these will protect and enhance natural ecosystem. It is our duty to keep these animals alive for our use and for future generations because it's our national heritage. Don't burn the bush indiscriminately. If you must burn, control that fire so it does not spread and become wildfire that will destroy the forest. The experts, however, believe that wildlife conservation is necessary as it ensures the protection of animals for the upcoming generations. In Calabar, Uduak Etam, NTN News. The Nigeria Union of Journalists, NUJ River State Council, wishes to inform the Nigeria police and the general public that the NUJ bus of the correspondent chapel was robbed at gunpoint early this morning at about 3 o'clock at the residence of the chapel chairman, Amechi Okonkwo. 
in a statement signed by the Secretary NUJ River State Council, E.K. Wigodu, states that the robber stormed his residence fully armed and robbed his household and other residents and went away with the union bus. Members of the public who happen to cite the vehicle anywhere should contact the police or the NUJ River State Council. Before we go, a recap of the major stories. The Brotherhood of the Cross and Star has flagged off week-long spiritual programs and announced this at a constant visit to the management of NTA Calabar. The senior pastor Dunamis International Gospel Center, Dr. Paul Enenche, has urged the people of Cross River State to rededicate themselves to God at a crusade held in Calabar. It was also in the news that the pupils of Tiny Tot Model School, also known as Antistella Memorial Model School Calabar, have visited NTA Calabar on excursion. That is it on our news tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night.